Praise the Lord and welcome to Fresh Manor School of Ministry. My name is Reverend James Solomon and I want to welcome you to a glorious lecture section this uh, morning. Uh, we have started this subject and you will recollect that the subject had been treated and we've started uh, by the uh, the uh, uh, Dr. Duan Jackson. And by the grace of God, I will be the one to continue on this subject uh, today. Uh, the subject we are looking at in our lecture today is um, about the spirit wives and the spirit husband. In spiritual warfare, uh, there is what is known to be the issues of spirit husband and spirit wife. And so I want to dwell on this subject today and throw more light in what is referred to as spirit husband and spirit wife. I have discovered in my course of ministrations and teachings all over the world in spiritual warfare for over 40 years that uh, a number of people come to ask some questions. And I'm going to start with those few questions before I take my introduction. One of the questions is, why do I have a man sleeping with me at night and it's not my husband? I just a different face and always coming to, you know, play with me and sleep with me and actually attempt to have some uh, uh, kind of making love with me. And uh, so women ask these questions and even some men ask me the questions. I don't know what happened. I just see myself sleeping with a lady, a woman I don't know in my dream most of the time. And sometimes I wet my bed uh, trying to know what is going on. And um, in this subject of today, we will be looking into this particular area. Um, what is spirit husband and spirit wife? One of the things I want to consider is to know the brief introduction about the spirit wife and the spirit husband, and also wanting to know how do they come into our lives? How do we become a wife or a husband to a spirit? Also, I will look into what is the aim of the spirit wife and the spirit husband. So we'll be looking at a few things in this uh, lecture and just uh, get yourself together and um, be prepared to listen. And I believe uh, it's going to be a wonderful lecture for you. There'll be a time of questions later on in which we're going to be treating um, later on. Because I'll be coming up again in this uh, continuation of this subject later on. Let's pray. Precious Father, we are grateful because you are our God. You are the God that answers prayers. You are our maker and our helper. And because of that, our confidence is upon you. And so today, as we look at the scripture together, I pray that your mighty hand will rest upon our heart. You will give us insights and revelations and understanding of your word. So that by the time we are done, every life we have reasons to testify. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Spirit husband and spirit wife, where do they come from? How do we become married to them? What really brought these situations into our lives? Funny enough, it's not only when you are unbelievers. A lot of Christians have come to me to ask the same questions. That I have a man sleeping with me as a woman on my bed and I woke up wet and you know felt that you know somebody slept with me and i've answered the question for some men as well i mean believers christians wondering why is it that some people slept with me at night and make romance and you know we were very close as if we we're married i will be taking this aspect and i will be uh explaining certain things now, in spiritual warfare, as you must have been told from the other lecturers that have lectured you, there are lots of things that happen in the spirit that 
in the physical we may not quite understand. In the spirit, we are greater and higher than what we think we are. Everything that happened in the physical had been concluded upon in the spirit. The spirit realm is real and is very, very, very solid. If you recollect very well from what you must have been taught, that the spiritual warfare actually started with a war between God and Satan. My understanding and deep knowledge of spiritual warfare is based on the fact that the whole thing started with Satan trying to overthrow God, to rule like God, to take control of everything like God. He wants to prove himself that he is uh, another powerful and uh, if not wanting to be more powerful than God, which is not possible. And the Bible says he was cast down because of that. So based on that fact, you can recollect that the Bible says he was cast down plus the legions the millions or billions of angels along with him. And because it was cast down to the earth, the scripture says, woe to the earth and the inhabitants of them, because Satan is cast into the earth. There was no prayer for the earth as at that time because Satan was cast down. The Bible has to declare woe unto the earth because Satan is cast down with all the angels that came with him. So as a result, the earth was polluted with all kinds of spirits. Because they do not wear physical human body, they arrive here in the spirit. And they are all spirits. And in their governmental setup, they rule the earth and divided the earth into sequences, into areas, and into certain communities so that they can rule effectively. That's not my subject, but I just have to throw a, a little light on how do we come about the spirit wife and spirit husband. So because the demons came in large force, the, the spirit of darkness landed on earth and they spread. So they set up government. And in setting up the government, they have to rule the air. They have to rule the sea. And they have to rule the bottom part of the earth. So in that understanding, you will know that they invaded the entire universe. And today we're looking at some part of that particular ruling kingdom. And that is what I call Asmodeus or Osmodeus. Asmodeus or Osmodeus. I spell Asmodeus as A-S-M-O-D-E-U-S. Osmodeus, I spell O S. M O D I U S. Why do I have to go into that particular terminology? It's all because you need to know the origin of these spirits. The spirit I have just mentioned, they are the high ranking forces of the kingdoms of darkness. But in their own departments, they are the ones that are rules of marriages, divorce families, and so on and so forth. They control and dominate anything that has to do with marriage or marriages. The demons that com completely rule over divorces. And so they are in charge of anything that has to do 
with marriage. Because Satan knew that God instituted marriages so that he can bring forth fruitful, productive children that will serve him later on and do his will. And for that reason, Satan also decided to pollute marriages, pollute the heart of people in their areas of relationship so that people can deviate from God and they can as well be servants to the kingdoms of darkness. So having this one in mind, you will now see that because of these demons, the power of darkness that is in charge of pollution, divorce, marital chaos, that is called Asmodeus or Osmodeus. Because of that, there were several divisions that they have already set apart to take care of certain aspects of their departments. One of the ones that they set apart is the spirit husband and spirit wife. Now you can see Asmodeus and Osmodi, Asmodeus and Osmodeus set up different other departments within their hierarchy. Within that hierarchy, they have several departments. All the role is to pollute, destroy, ruin marriages, and scatter homes. And one of the things they do, one of the departments under that is what I'm looking at today, which is spirit wives and spirit husband. Asmodeus, like I said, is a mythical spirit with characteristics such as overpowering tendency to rage lust, impurity, and physics activities. Again, Asmodeus is a spirit that is concerned in characteristics such as overpowering tendency to rage, lust, impurity, and so on and so forth. So the role of this particular spirit is to seduce, is to make sure that lust rules the heart of people. And in their oppression, I want to read what is the aim before I tell you some of the things they do. What is the aim of spirit husbands and spirit wife? This is important. The aim of spirit husband and spirit wife is to break marriages, destroy homes, and cause a lot of chaos in the area of marriages. Initiate people with uncontrollable lust and sensational, sensational burning in their heart so that they would not be able to concentrate with God, but they'd be falling into adultery and fornication regularly. This spirit has its own sitting on the sea. They rule and control the rivers and the waters. And they are also part of the branch of marine spirit, which is referred to most of the time as water spirit. They dominate and rule and control marriages, and their main base is in the sea. And so today we're looking at activities and effects of water spirit. What, uh, sorry, of, uh, of um, uh, house spirit husbands and spirit wives, sorry. And so this is important. This is a subject that is wide 
So I'll be taking it step by step for you to be able to understand how do people get married to spirit husband and spirit wife? How do people get married to spirit husband and spirit wife? Remember we said it's spirit. It is not in a physical marriage. It's something that is done in the spirit. How did that happen? Number one, it happens based on the vows and covenants made by parents, most of the majorly. It could occur based on the vows and the agreement, which is covenant, made by the parents, consciously or unconsciously. How would, do we understand that? Is looking into the story of uh, Samuel. Remember the mother had sought the face of the Lord. And they said, Lord, if you can give me a son, I will dedicate this son to you. You recollect very well that this woman cried and sought the face of the Lord was asking God, if you give me a son, that son is going to be dedicated to you to serve you. And so God gave her a son. And if you read, well, the book of 1 Samuel, because of our time, you will discover that immediately Samuel was born, according to the promise of the mother, he was dedicated to God. It was given to God. The same way the evil spirit, the forces of darkness, wanting to navigate, wanting to contrarily do exactly what they see God doing. Many, many times our parents, our great-grandparents may have sought for help. Maybe you have a child that is sickler. You need to go to spirit people. You attended some places where they take you to certain places and you ask you to bring some things so that this sickness may go. Some other people seek for spirits of darkness or assistance from the spirit when they need a child. They have tried everywhere and so they have to go to the spirits of darkness or the agents to request for help that we want to have a child. And in that sense, there were a few things they may ask them to do. Some signals, some symbols, some, some symbols, some representative, certain things that people do not think that they count. People may have signed up for certain things unconsciously to them by the time they went to this spirit's agent. As at those, that time, many things the parents may have done may not mean sense, may not mean anything to them. But in the spirit of darkness, every symbol, every mark, every move, every decision has meaning. Just like this Woman simply requests of God, if you give me a child, I'll dedicate the child to you. And at the end of the day, God gave a child. And from that moment, the mark of God was on Samuel. The same thing with a child requested from the spirit of darkness. The mark of the spirit of evil will remain on that child. Number two way people get into that spirit or uh, the spirit husband and spirit wife connection is evil initiation and evil dedication. When I say evil initiation or evil dedication, I simply means one one way or the other was initiated unconsciously. When I say initiation, I mean connected with a symbol, an object, or a word, verbal. It could be 
Initiation can be verbal or non-verbal. Meaning, initiation could be something that you have to say with your mouth or you just don't even say anything, but as a symbols, symbols that represent uh, something that you don't know that they ask you to do. So people are initiated into spirit wives and spirit husbands. That starts from wrong marriages. Going into some ritual observations when you are getting married. When I mean spiritual observation that are satanic, I mean certain things you have to present before you marry that you know is not biblical. In some culture, there are some satanic things that are demanded before you get married. You have to do certain things. You have to do certain movement. You have to do some things that it's not according to the Bible. So anyone who got married in that situation, in such an environment, it's very possible for such a person to sign up unconsciously for spirit husbands or spirit wife initiation. And some, when I mean dedication, I mean some of the marriages that have taken place before a priest that is occult or satanic. If there's a priest who actually conducted a marriage or wedding, but the priest is cult, is occultic, is satanic or demonic, such marriage could be resulting into spirit wives and spirit husband links and connections. And for that reason, the family may be suffering from spirit husband and spirit wife connection. Number three reasons why people find themselves signing into spirit husband and spirit wife is if one has ever done blood sacrifice, if one at any time ever done blood sacrifice, whether with your blood or with the blood of any animal. There was a boy and a girl who were befriending each other before they became Christian. They were very much in love. And um, they got to a level they wanted to make sure that they are committed to each other. And they went to someone who will help them so that this girl will not leave me, so that this man will not leave me. So we have to sign up an agreement, a covenant. And this priest, this satanic priest, asked them to come and cut the flesh of two of them. Just cut them open so they can see at least a sizable number of blood. And when they were cut open, the priest asked the girl to lick the blood of the boy and the boy also to lick the blood of the girl so that the covenant will be sealed and none of them will leave each other. They did that before they knew Christ. <clears throat> Such a situation means that they have signed up expressly <clears throat> for spirit husband and spirit wife. I mentioned wrong marriages as well. <coughs> Excuse me, can introduce you to spirit wife and spirit husband. What I mean by wrong marriages is when you get married to somebody who is having a kind of strange spirit, spirit of darkness, in her or in him, you can be introduced into spirit wife and spirit husband. Sexual sin. Number five can as well, remember I said number four is wrong marriage or marriages. Number five is sexual sin can as well open you up to spirit husband and spirit wife. If you have sex with somebody who is satanically initiated 
or is have a spirit of darkness in him or her. When you sleep with such a person, there could be a transfer into your system that will register the fact that you sign up with the spirit husband and spirit wife. Let me share this from my experience. I met with a young man who had a good, successful job. And in this job, he was doing very, very well. They say, young man is not married. So he had a girlfriend. This girlfriend, they were planning to marry. But uh, the guy worked in another state. And the girl was in another state. So they see each other once in a while. The guy has a good job in another state. The girl is in a different state. Um, just as you know, it happens. They start making love before they got married. And as the, as the, they start making love because this girl is double about double liquor. In other words, I simply mean the girl has some evil spirit operation in her. So anytime they sleep together with this boy, the girl will spiritually capture everything that come out of the man, the nature of the man that he releases on the girl. The girl has a way of capturing those things and keep them and report them to the bank in the sea. There is a bank in the sea that this girl would donate or deposit everything the man release on this girl and the girl was doing that so that as to retain this particular man now in the analysis the girl has spoken to the kingdoms of darkness which is the spirit water spirit that she wanted to keep the man and so she needed everything they could do to retain the man for him and from that sense because of the normal nature of man that he releases into this girl, they were able to analyze the life of the boy and monitor him and see him, know when he's working, know what he's doing, and they can decide on what they do with his life because they have been able to capture a major part of his life. So if you have sex with a satanic person, then you are accessible, you are directly linked to spirit husbands and spirit wife. Sexual sin can cause that. Also, you could be initiated in the spirit wife and spirit husbands from the dream. And I'm going to explain that. Mm -hmm. Why did that happen? It happens only because there is an opening in your life. If there is an opening in your life, meaning in your bloodline, there were people that have gone into kind of spirits of darkness. That people in your line, maybe great-grandfather, grandfather, who had signed up one way or the other before of something that is satanic and evil, then you can, in your dream, be initiated into spirit wife and spirit husband because you are open. There is an opening that makes an entrance that makes it easy for the kingdoms of darkness to penetrate your life. And for that reason, you can be rich. Now, because of the little time we have, I'm summarizing what this subject is all about, like kind of introduction. Uh, I want to go with... Uh, this other aspect, I have told you how do people get into spirit wife and spirit husband. I want to look at some other aspect. I've told you how people get into it. Now, when people get into spirit wife and spirit husbands, how can they get out of it? Or how can I di discover that I have spirit husband problem and spirit wife? 
how do people discover, how can you detect that indeed I have a case of spirit husband and spirit wife? One, uncontrolled lust. This is serious. Uncontrolled lust. You just find out no matter how much you pray, no matter how much you love God, no matter how much you submit to God, you have an uncontrolled lust. If you're a woman, you will not be able to take your eye away from a man until you sleep with that man. If a man, if he takes you, cut your head or cut your life down, and you see a woman, you will sleep with that woman. You will do everything. It does not matter whether you are married or not married. Because of the power of the lust that controls you and rule over you, then you cannot control. You find out that you just have to be victim of lust every time. I mean, I'm not talking about the fact that you see a woman, you like the woman, you look at the woman and say, oh, I appreciate you, I like the way you dress, I like the way you talk, and all this. So that's not the issue. I'm talking about lust, lust, lust. Lust that you cannot control. Lust that you cannot take your eye away. Lust that you have. Prayer cannot even remove it. That is where you discover, I may have one way or the other got connected with spirit wife or spirit husband. Number two, to discover someone under spirit wife and spirit husband is missing things mysteriously. Missing some items mysteriously. Missing money mysteriously. Missing object mysteriously. I've seen that so many times. <laughs> A lady was brought to me for prayers that we will just uh, pray for, for her. And... Um, she actually got to the door of the church and was refusing to come in. And um, the spirit husband said, don't go inside because this lady has come to the level she will begin to hear voices. The spirit husband control her, speaks to her, and tell her what to do and what not to do. She can physically see the spirit husband in the midst of many people and they will, nobody else will see so she got into the entrance of the church. We have to go in to bring her in. What happened? She got married to a man, which is normal marriage in life. Then the spirit husband appeared after the wedding and said, I told you not to be married. I am your husband. You made a mistake by getting married because this is wrong. So, you're going to lose the pregnancy. And truly, truly, there was a serious pregnancy. Blood was rushing out of this lady at the, uh, after three months of the pregnancy. It was so bad that they couldn't stop the blood. They went to the hospital and tried whatever they could do. When they leave the hospital, the blood will start again. And the spirit of the husband will appear and say, I told you not to get married. So they rushed the woman to me for prayer, and the woman came and um, was ministered to her, and the blood stopped. So on the way home, from the door, the spirit husband says, okay, I know you're going to come out of the church. I know you are there now, and I cannot come in with you, but I am waiting for you at the door. The spirit husband waved her wallet, her purse, because when she was being ministered to in the church, she left her post. The spirit husband waved the post to her and said, I have your post. And then this woman said, no, I, oh, I forgot my post in the church. When they got to the church, there was no, the post was not there. The spirit husband waved it and said, I had it. And it's like, what in the world is this? And the woman now told the husband, that spirit husband is having my wallet. So they got home. When they got home, they slept and the blood issue started again. Because she wasn't conscious, the husband decided to rush her to the hospital. They got to the hospital and the spirit husband was holding the pole 
of the bed and was telling her, I told you not to be married. So you're still going to lose this pregnancy. It was then the lady opened her eyes at the hospital and said, you know what, take me back to the church. Hospitals will not help me. All these situations I know is spiritual. So they brought her back. Now what I'm saying is that you can be missing things mysteriously. Money disappearing. You know the money is there, but you can't find it. Wallets disappearing mysteriously. You can put something down now and you can't find it anymore. When you find things disappearing mysteriously like that, there may be spirit husband or spirit wife in connection. The next thing that happened as a sign to know whether there's spirit husband and spirit wife is no interest in marriage at all. You just don't have interest in getting married. You want to stay by yourself, enjoy yourself and live your life. You do not have a single interest in getting married. Just period. Because the spirit husband comes to you at night, you enjoy yourself, and the spirit wife comes to you at night, you enjoy, enjoy yourself. Another thing which is deadly, which is a major problem, and the purpose why spirit wife and spirit husband are established is divorce. They are the engineer behind divorces. They will do everything because the purpose is to make sure that marriages don't work. The aim of spirit husband and spirit wife is to make sure that even God launched or instituted marriages so that men and women can live together and produce promising children. The devil wants to terminate that, destroy it, and make it a mess so that they can rule homes and marriages. So one of the things they do is to cause divorce. Seriously, it is going to be whether they like they will work things out so well that they will not be able to agree to stay together. The husband would not see any reason until they divorce. The wife will say, no, we have to. And I'm not saying that you made mistake and maybe one way in your life you find that you divorce. I'm talking about something that is concurrent. It is all the time. It is what the devil has done. Some has gone into number three, number four marriages. Number five, you divorce the first time, you divorce the second time, you divorce the third time, you keep on divorcing. Then there's maybe a spirit responsible. Another thing that will make you know if there's a spirit husband or spirit wife connection is masturbation. Masturbation. And when the masturbation is taking place, I mean you having sex by yourself with a, someone you see in your spirit. You having making love with a woman. You are a man that you see in your spirit or in your dream. So spirit husband is the engineer behind that. And they will make you feel like, yes, you're having a man here, you're having a woman here. And indeed, there were presence of the spirit that is responsible for that. Then spirit husband and spirit wife should be discovered. You should pray against it when you find out that you have uncontrollable adultery even after marriage. One can fall into adultery once without any alarming effect at all. You just know that it is, you can't, no matter the prayer, no matter the service, no matter the fire, you are in adultery the next minute. It is not just that one is feeling weak or one is tempted, you know, sometimes as a human being. It is something that, you know, it, this is not ordinary. There is a force, there is a power behind it that pulls you and pulls you into adultery continually, concurrently, and every minute. That is to show there is a spirit wife and spirit husband connection. When there's a spirit wife and a spirit husband connection, adultery will be, hey, remember the purpose of spirit wife and spirit husband is to pollute 
the house of God, is to pollute the believers, is to ruin what God had made a secret, which is marriage. So spirit husband and spirit wife are behind uncontrollable adultery. Even in the body of Christ, even as Christian, even in born again Christians, you find out that some cannot control themselves, can control the body. Anything you cannot control as a human being, whatever it is that you cannot control is not ordinary. It has some spirit backing. Again, anything, because we are created to be able to control and rule. But when it comes that something has to control you against your will, that you cannot control it, then there's a spirit behind it. Another thing, sign to know what is going on with spirit husband and spirit wife is barrenness. This person will be pregnant in the dream all the time and be seen that she's carrying babies, but in the real world, she will not have a child. There are a lot of spirit husbands and spirit wives situations that we will not be able to look into, but let me just mention this particular aspect of barrenness. A spirit wife will be pregnant and lose the pregnancy. No matter the age, it could be nine months, it could be eight months, it could be seven months, it could be two days, it could be two months, spirit husband go into losing babies. These babies they lost, this baby that disappear from the womb of the woman is being used in the spirit of darkness. As remember, I talk about the spirits. They use these children or these babies in order to spread the issues of the problem we face in childbearing. They they spread this, in, there's, there's a spirit that's called familiar spirits. The familiar spirits are higher than the spirit of witchcraft. They operate with spirits. They operate with demons. Witchcraft has not been so powerful to be able to operate with spirits. They only subscribe and seek for help but when it comes to familiar spirit they operate directly with spirits and that is where the miscarriages that spirit husband and spirit wife curse in a woman that is where the spirit goes to the spirit goes into their camp into their bank where they can use those spirit to cause another miscarriage in any other person they choose to. So barrenness is one of the weapons, one of the things the spirit husband and the spirit wife does. I remember very well that uh, I met a lady in London who has tried everything to be pregnant. Anytime she got pregnant, she will find out that the mother-in-law slept, slept with her overnight and then she will see her menstruation back and the baby will be gone. It happened concurrently, repeatedly for more than six years. I mean, I'm saying the mother-in-law, the mother to the husband will sleep with this woman. And then in the morning, once she had that dream, in the morning, the bed is wet. She, she will lose the pregnancy. That happened repeatedly. That is the operation or spirit wife and spirit husband. Um, again, let me just touch on some area because I have to touch just bit by bit of some areas because of the time. Uh, spirit husband is also the one responsible, and this is to the believers, Christian, let us be careful. Spirit husband is responsible for making you to feel like your wife or your husband is like a pig. You hate this person so well that you don't want to sleep with this person. Spirit wife and spirit husband cause demarcation in the area of relationship between husband and wife. 
They make you to feel nothing at all when you're around your husband or your wife. You don't feel nothing. In fact, there was a woman that was introduced to me. She was having a problem. She would not want to. She, she felt that, in fact, to her, it's better that she sleeps with just anybody rather than sleeping with her husband. It does not matter how decent, how handsome, how precious the woman is. No, no, no. That spirit will make sure create a kind of level of hatred that you do not want to sleep with your wife or your husband. So this lady came to me and said, sir, I have a problem. I said, what's the problem? She said, the problem is when I see every other man, my body moves. But when I see my husband, I, I am telling you, sir, it's like I should run away from him. When he forced me to make love, I pretend as if I'm okay, but I know inside of me, I am extremely sad and unhappy and sorrowful that is sleeping on me. Sir, I know it is a problem. And that is true. That's the job of the spirit husband. Why is the spirit husband doing that? They're doing it. Spirit husband and spirit wife does that so that the man who do not want the woman again, who do not love the woman, who doesn't see any passion, to sleep with that woman again can look somewhere else in the church or somewhere else to sleep with another person because sleeping with another person makes this person fulfilled and happy and joyful. But sleeping with the wife or the husband, don't just take it easy. Just know it is a spirit husband and spirit wife situation. They made you to hate that person with so much hatred you don't want to touch them. That is the issue a strong issue that the devil is using. Even among the believers, I've counseled thousands of Christians and they have the same problem. This is the man you love to death when you met the first time. This is the woman you say you can even do anything to marry her. The love was something else, but all of a sudden this thing came in that you just don't even want to see the naked, nakedness of this person anymore. The hatred was so, it's so bad that you just don't want to see her. And that is to show there is a spirit involved. And the name of that spirit is called spirit husband or spirit wife. They cause chaos, hatred, demarcation, so that the man will be able to jump out to other ladies and begin to go in adultery, so that the woman we will to jump out to another man and begin to spread adultery so that the church of God will be polluted. They prevent good homes, good marriages, good relationships. They prevent making love with husbands and wives together. They don't want that to happen so that men and women can be jumping out to other places looking for help when they have a wife, when they have a beautiful, it does not matter how beautiful the woman, how neat and decent, that doesn't matter. What matters is that the spirit of darkness has blinded your mind and caused demarcation between two of you so that you will not be able to relate closely in love with each other anymore. The love you had before when you started, you take it away and block your mind. The same thing they do to the woman. So spirit, it is the duty of spirit husband. Remember where I started? I call the name Asmodeus or Hosmodeus. These are the demons that held that department. Under that department, there are a lot of other minor, minor groups and things. Part of it is lost, sex, and all this that goes along with it. But in summary, because of the time, let me look into this. I already told you how people get into this unconsciously. Then how can we have deliverance from the spirit husband and the spirit wife? How do we receive deliverance? Just in this summary, I would say this. When time permits, I'm going to take series by series on this aspect. I just summarize the entire teachings because of the time so that we can have the general knowledge of spirit husbands and spirit wife.
But when time permits in our next lecture, I'm going to break it One down moment. into series. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Into series so that we can be able to get into the proper uh, knowledge of the spirit wives and the spirit husband. How can one get free from all this yoke? Number one, breaking of covenants that parent went into on your behalf. If you sense that your parent, one way or the other, may have signed up a blood covenant or agreement, or maybe they sought, they run around for help, maybe because you were sick, or before they gave back to you, or you have the story that in your family, some things that were done, when there is anything that is presented, that is given out like a gift, like a presentation in the name of a child or a baby, that child is under a covenant, whether the child knows it or not. That covenant must be broken. Number two, breaking, excuse me, number two, breaking the bondage of initiation and dedication. Remember I mentioned the dedication and initiation. In order to be free, you need to break the bondage of dedication and initiations. If ever you thought about the father, maybe you are initiated or maybe you are dedicated. Maybe you had a story similar today. I remember I was ministering in a white church in New York. It was a powerful service. I think I was the only black in that church. It was powerful. There was a prophetess that came up and prophesied powerfully well. Everybody were blessed. When the ministration started, I finished my preaching. I was praying for people. Before I lay hands on that prophetess, she was the one that rolled on the floor and destroyed, dismantled the entire church. Everything was scattered. And she would say, oh, no, Grandma, I need to go. I got to go, Grandma. I need to go. I need... So when she got up, she told me, that I used to have a grandma. My grandma is a Jewish. And I stay with her. And every time before we sleep, she will put something under the bed where we sleep. We don't know what it is, but she will put that thing, wrap it well, and put it under the bed. And that's how we sleep for years. And when she grew up, she didn't know anything. She don't know the meaning of it. But that day when I was praying and she fell on the floor, she saw a grandma and said, give me back what I gave to you. In that, on the spot while we were praying. And that's the time she was shouting, grandma, I got to go. I have to leave you. There are a lot of dedications and initiation we are not aware of that can affect us. One has to repent and break the chain of initiation and dedications consciously and unconsciously. We also need to repent and stay away from sexual immorality. This is important. Asmodeus and Osmodeus are the agents of darkness that inflict people, that causes people not to be able to control their sex life. Regardless of how much prayer and anything that is happening, some people are so much yoked and they know it that I love to be a Christian. I love to be free from this. I want to live my life for God. But there is a force, a power that is stronger than me. Look at what the Bible says through Paul. Paul says, O oh, wretched man that I am. The good I wanted to do, I know it. I want to do it. But the bad and the evil I don't want to do, they are the one I'm doing. He said, if that is what happened, then it is not me that is doing it. There is a spirit behind it. Exactly what happened. Get it right. When you can no longer decide to control a situation, including addiction, if you can no longer control a situation, then there is a spirit behind it. Lost has a spirit behind it for some people. So repent of it and ask God to give you grace to overcome it. Then return any spiritual ornaments such as rings, 
marriage certificates, wedding gowns. What do I mean by that? In the spirit realm, sometimes when we sleep, you have marriage certificates. You are wedded. You Somebody put ring in your hand. And you know this is spiritual. In the physical, you may, not, you may not have even been married, but you see all this happening to you in the spirit. In such situation, what you need to do in your prayer where you are praying, you ask the Holy Spirit, I remove this ring from my hand in the name of Jesus because I knew something was put in my hand when I was sleeping. Certificate that was given in everything that was done in that dream you renounce it and cancel and terminate it. A young lady met me who always hear voice. You cannot get married. I am your husband. Mm -hmm. And the man will appear. You cannot get married. I'm your husband. When this lady came, she said, I have met with about four, four men who really had interest to marry me. But once this spirit speaks, they will go. The men will disappear. They will not return again. Because this spirit comes from the river and dressed good and decent and neat. And it's telling me all the time, I'm your husband. You cannot get married. He, she tried the four times. But whenever she tried and make a step to marry, see that something, calamity will happen to that man or the man will die. Because the Spirit has already said you are not supposed to be married to any other person. So we have all kinds of things happening in the spirit realm. But when it comes to the area of marriage, sex, and relationship, it is Asmodeus and Osmodeus, which is the demons that dominate that area. And one of their department is the spirit wife and spirit husband. So... You need to return those things in the spirit. If there's anything you ate in the spirit, you need to reject it and return it. And tell the Almighty God to flush your system. And um, that's important. Also, destroy any spiritual babies with fire. Some of some of the some of us that are believing God for a child, you may not even have any child. You're still trusting God, but Every time you sleep, you play with a baby, you see the baby, you know you are pregnant, and all these things are happening. Please, it could be spiritual babies from a spiritual husband. Renounce it, break the yoke, tear up, and cause the power of God to come and destroy all the spiritual baby. Because the spiritual babies will prevent you from having the normal physical babies. Because the spiritual babies are the babies that comes in the spirit and are used against the physical babies. Finally, before I close, one of the things, the major thing that spirit husbands does is to, this is serious, is to cause complete chaos between husbands and the wife. Now, you just don't know why I don't want to see this man or why I don't want to. This is not just making love. This is just don't, just hated a person severely. I'm talking about believers. It happened to Christians. What do you think that happened that made a, 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 a husband to carry a gun and blow the head of the wife? Even in the believer's life, what, what do you think that happened? To a Christian who's supposed to be a child of God wanting to kill, it's because when the spirit of darkness, which is Asmodee, spirit husband and spirit wife, comes in between them, it will create perfect hatred. The hatred will go to a highest level that they don't want to see each other again. So when you find yourself in that situation, then the spirit husband is involved. He had stolen your love away and he has replaced with hatred. So spirit husband gives extreme hatred to the wife and the husband so that they will be divided. I told you the purpose. Their aim is to destroy the sacredness of marriage. So they want to do it at all costs and they can easily cause complete hatred, misunderstanding with each other. I want to trust God today. The Almighty God that has released this for us, 
we uphold each and, each and every one of us and make us a blessing to other people. As you hear this, you will be an instrument to bless thousands of people all over the world. I trust God that what he has started to do through this great Bible school, you will spread it to your friend and tell it to everyone you know that our God that set up Fresh Mana School of Ministry, he is going to bless and increase you as you send this message to other people. This is uh, important. Spread the news. Tell people. By the grace of God, Fresh Mana School of Ministry is growing and I am part of it. So you're welcome to today's class. And I trust God you've been blessed. As time goes on, there will be room for questions. I know some of us have so much questions to ask. There will be room for that. And we'll do that later on. You're welcome one more time to this great class of spirit husbands and spirit wife connection. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful because you are almighty. We trust in you because of what you have done today. We ask that your mighty hand will go forth in the lives of your people and the blessings of today will be permanent and we'll use it to bless other people around us. Thank you, Father, because you are God. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you, increase and multiply you. And I hope to see you again very shortly. Again, my name is Reverend James Solomon and it's my pleasure to be with my sister ministry fresh manner school of ministries god bless you